Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Right, so obviously yesterday I had an okay opening and we got some new 7 star champions. And today it is time we take one of those champions up to rank 3. And we are going to start with a little Omega Red. So since I did manage to get myself an Awakening Gem and some Six Stones, borderline unavoidable to rank up Omega for now. Um, it is obviously a hit in Prestige, but I have long since kind of stopped trying to push the Prestige, especially with my spending, you know, being significantly down compared to how it used to be. And uh, I do think Omega Red is gonna get very useful in Alliance War and in BGs and uh, God knows where else. And one of the problems with Omega Red is like why we don't see him as much as 6 star is obviously because you need to stay close to the opponent, it's not always easy, but also with the 7 stars and block penetration, uh, you end up taking quite a bit of chip damage. And I think Omega Red is like one of those champions that effectively uh, okay, we can use this rank of gem. Uh, but effectively, it's kind of like Silk and a handful of others. The usefulness of Omega Red significantly depends, you know, whether he's ranked up as high as possible and whether you can close out the fight as quickly as possible. Obviously, there are a ton of good use for him in general because of his, you know, ability to bypass damage from champions and his mediums and heavies. Um, has plenty of great matchups, and uh, he's still quite interesting and unique champion. I'm not the best Omega Red player, Lizer, looking at you there, but uh, and there are, but I, I do okay. I used Omega a fair bit when he was kind of like at peak of his powers. I do think we are gonna see a lot more Omega Reds very, very, very soon. Right. Anyways. Up to rank 3 he goes. Up to rank 3 he goes now. And uh, he obviously needs 6 stones in Awakening. I do have Recall Master is active. We're going to synergize him up a bit. And then bring him in for a tiny bit of showcase in Realm of Legends. Of course we will. I mean we have to, right? He's going to melt some fools. I actually, ages ago, very, very, very long time ago, did a Labyrinth of Legends run with the Mega Red, which went surprisingly well, to be honest. Uh, might need to do some more practice with him, obviously. He does have very annoying Relic interaction, which I don't particularly like, where uh, Relic, whilst you're hitting with the Relic to the opponent, your spores are falling off, so you can only really use Relic uh, after you have just parried, basically. But now he has a very good relic to use on him, which obviously does give him the bleed from Mr. Sinsa. So we're going to give him a relic as well. Use items. My first ever 7 star awakening gem that I use. Now we're going to have to use Sig Stones. We're going to give him. We can take him to 144 for now. It's fine. I really hoped I'd get a dupe on my red. Uh, that was kind of like the only thing missing from yesterday's opening. I wished that my Omega Red uh, or Omega Sentinel to get the dupe it would be easier uh, to decide what to do afterwards. But that's fine. So he's Sig 141. And we're going to give him these. Sig 145. Fine. Whilst we're at it, we can actually give some 10 Sig Stones to Domino. Sig 90 will be fine for her, for now. Uh, there we go. Now we have a rank 3 Omega Red. It looks absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. So let's take in that Omega Red. Realm of Legends. I do have Recall Mars. Oh, wait, I need to give him a Relic as well. You can do it from this screen right here. So. First, let's well, let's do the relic first. 
Equip Relic. We need Mr. Sinister. Can't select that one. We're going to have to take this one off from Mr. Sinister for now. Ah, the pen sucks. I need another. I need more Mr. Sinister Relics is what I need. <laughs> I need at least three or four more Mr. Sinister Relics. Okay, one bleed or immune to bleed. Gain a non-stacking precision. Okay, that's fine. When bleed or immune to bleed, get cruelty, that's fine. Attack rating while bleeding. Prowess potency, opponent champion bleed potency. Nope, this is fine. This is fine. Good. Can rank up the relic? Maybe later. Do we now? Do we now? Nah, maybe later. Okay, so we have Omega Red. Actually, you need to double check his synergies, because obviously there are some... Sabertooth is like the most important one. Then, and then, and then, and then. Uh, this one will time blocks now. Yeah, why not, I suppose? Then death will deal some more damage. Yeah, why not, I suppose? And then critical rating. I mean, sure, why not, I suppose? Is there anything else? Is there any other good synergy for Omega Red? I kind of feel like Kabam hasn't been giving him synergies recently. Uh, Mega Sentinel, that's a unique one. Omega Red. But the fight starts. Okay, Red Guardian. It's fine. Nothing major. Unique. Nope. This is how we're going to go in. So, synergize the Mega Red. Ooh. That focus. Block proficiency, armor penetration, energy resistance, physical resistance. I guess we're going to give him critical rating. Maybe it's worth giving him block prof. Because, yeah, that's actually. Um. Uh, Yep, no, maybe it will be worth giving him block proficiency. Obviously. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's have some fun here. Let us have a wee bit of fun. See how quickly. See, 145. My grad. And take care of business. Got up to 20 spores, 25, sweet. Look at that. Oh, I can't completely forget. I, I didn't even manage landing that heavy because he didn't want to go for. Ha! Huh. I mean, there were 33 seconds. There's 33 seconds, and I didn't even play that well. I'm sure you can do it faster. That is approaching a filthy, filthy Thursday. Okay, so 145. Omega Red. Let's go. Show me what you got, baby. Didn't even need to do that. Fine. Reactivate it. Let's get that lead back on. As if she's not dead already. Man, I think I'm going to have fun with this champ for a bit. Again, 33 seconds. I mean, it's not half bad. No, 33. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That's fine. That's fine. Obviously, there is a big difference when playing him without mainly the Sabertooth synergy. It is significantly harder to play him without it. Slower ramp up, you need to be more on point with pretty much everything. But, made a mistake. Fine. That's fine. And bye bye there. This is gonna be a slow one. This is gonna be a super slow fight. 41 seconds. Jeez. 41 seconds is just awful. Okay, baby Omega. 
Let, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got against the big bad rhino. Ooh, no, he hit me. And... Boom. Even the level 2 does decent damage. Even that level 2. Look at you die. 34 seconds. Slightly delayed. Slightly. But that's fine. Okay, so Van, I did not think I'm going to do more than Winter Soldier fight, but this is addictive. This is fun. There is absolutely not a single thing wrong with this, right? There's not a single thing that's wrong with this. You just take your Omega Red, drop one heavy. Oh, no, no, don't hit me, please. You hit so hard. Okay, we might have screwed up here. We might have messed up a little bit, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll finish. Okay. Uh, oh, this is going to be hard. This is going to be a challenge because he's going to be building up his spars extremely slowly. Let's see, like, some of the worst case scenarios here for Omega against a robot those of you who do not know omega red is allergic to robots he stacks his spars significantly slower and they fall off significantly quicker so i completely bamboozled the start as well here all about locking stuff in here i suppose Uh oh, I lost almost everything. Everything that I worked for took away from me. That's it. We're gonna manage. We're gonna manage. Look at that. Awful damage. No good damage. And we got 11. We're basically cooking here. We're basically cooking. I mean, there's 1 minute and 16. That's unacceptable. That's awful. Okay, now let's see whether we can out damage Wolverine's region, shall we? So we have a couple more fights till we get there, but let's just take a look. Okay, probably shouldn't have even started with this, but that's fine. Easy money. Okay, is this the fastest one yet? 26 seconds. 26 seconds. That's what I'm talking about. And that's my boy cooking. 500 some HP in 26 seconds. Noise. A casual 17k medium there as well. Power drain. Don't even care. Easy money. Still get my death fill back too. Easy money. Okay, okay. 31. Not bad. Just... Okay, now you're gonna get. It. Now you're gonna get it. Let's see whether we can. I mean, we can obviously 
Omega corner play the Wolverine. Effectively just, you know, throw heavies now and then and let him hit me to keep me bleeding. But I don't think we're gonna have to. Back in the day we did. Not anymore. Back in the day, those were some desperation tactics or a point to be proven. Oh, he's got two regions. I shouldn't have thrown that low, to be honest. But. Oh, Pube, 39 seconds. Look at that. Taking away our time. Okay, okay. Let's go Black Bolt. Let go Black Bolt. Alrighty then. Let's see how he fires up. With his, well, ideally, you want to push him to level 2. But he doesn't want to throw it seemingly. That's okay. <gasps> I made a mistake. That's fine, he's still dead. I made a mistake, but it didn't change. If he didn't throw those level ones, I wonder how fast we would have killed him. And okay, let, let's just finish it off. It would feel wrong not to beat up the hawk. That's fine. That's fine, let, 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 let's beat him up. Let, let's beat him up. It's always so nice to get a new toy. So, so nice. We got the 13 there, we got the death field active. Easy. And this one was. What time do we get here? What time? 26 so far was the fast. 27, we almost made it. But this is cooler because this fight was smoother because it was without class advantage. Anyways, that is my baby SIG 145 Omega Red. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about the rank up and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye bye. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information.